Welcome to the demo of IBM Trireka Trees 10.4. To begin, we'll log in as Gary Green, who is an Environmental Sustainability Executive. Gary signs into a portal, and this is the out-of-the-box portal, that provides a lot of information to him. It has individual sections that have notices, for example, of items he needs to take action on and other notifications. It also can show him how many pending requests he has, uh, if there's funding requests, pending approval, and other things like that. It has shortcuts to different metrics, and we're going to be going through some of these metrics. There's also a section called Related Links, which you can expand and jump to different places in the system. You'll see other sections that are like key performance indicators, some of the KPIs. Gary can also personalize his portal, and this is because he has security permission to do so. This allows Gary to rearrange the sections on his portal. He could actually hit X here and remove it from his portal without impacting anybody else. And as you can see, other sections that are available to him to use could be added to his portal. It lets him own his own user experience to an extent. At the top you see there are menus. These particular menus are driven by the portal, by licenses, and by security access. As you can see, Gary has the ability to run reports, he can put in requests for assistance, he can see things around projects, also certain types of tasks, and the focus for us really is sustainability. Let's look at some of the KPIs that are here. One, energy ratings by location. We're going to expand that. And you can see we have our rankings within a quarter. So here's Q1. But let's change this. One of the powers of Tyriga is it has many ways to filter and also dimension data. So I'm going to change this dimension to be by location. And now you'll see it really did it by building class. Okay, so this is offices versus retail. I can change this even further and drill into my geography. Perhaps I want to see only Germany. And now you'll see in Germany all buildings are classified as offices. We are now just in Germany. Another KPI is our energy cost by location. Again, you see this is for everything that's considered an office. Let's change this view though. I want to see by energy type. So I have scope 1 and I have scope 2. Let's only look at scope 2. So now you see electricity. And we have 617,799.15 as our total energy cost. But let's look at just Europe. So for just Europe, it's 81,128.99. Now you have bar graphs, you can have line graphs. Another example is a splatterboard. Here we're looking at our active environmental opportunities, and you can see these are environmental opportunity types. And, in this case, this is an exterior facade for a building, DAL01. It has a payback period, an NPV, and if there's an impact on carbon reduction, it's also there. Okay, next, let's go to the Sustainability tab. That's where the core of our information around environmental sustainability is kept. You'll see now additional KPIs appear. Let's look at our goal of recy recycled waste. Now we're looking at different types of recycling that can be done. 
and we're looking at different centers here. Let's change this a little bit. Let's drill down and only look at Frankfurt. Now we have a narrow view. Let's look at another example. A percent of goal of energy use reduction. Again, we have it by location. Maybe I want to go in and only analyze scope 2. I can change the filtering and change the dimensions of all this data. Let's look at opportunities by location. You can see we've identified opportunities in Dallas. You can also see we have an opportunity, maybe more, that are not assigned to a specific location. And finally, let's look at our opportunities by type. We have green initiatives, we have lead certification have been identified. And then we also have some opportunities out there that have not been classified yet. And for one more view, let's look at our energy use over the last 12 months. Now it's bringing up each year, so this is an annualized version. But maybe we want to do this a little different. So for instance, let's look at time period, let's only look at 2014. Okay, we have three quarters at this point showing up. Let's drill in further. Maybe for 2014, we only want to see Q1. And of course, we can apply our other filters. Let's go to only Frankfurt. So we're able to drill down through the data as far as we need to. This concludes part one of the Tririga demo. This part two will cover in detail the data that's behind all of these metrics.